Hello and welcome to part 3 of my video. It's a bit longer than expected, so it's nice to see everyone still there. If you're still there, if not, goodbye. Right, if you remember we were filling out our, the function play sample. So if you just picked up and you started on part 3, go back to part 1 because you won't understand what's going on. <laughs> right, so now fill that one out, let's copy paste it again. I like I was saying, if you need to copy and paste the code, if you need to copy the code, then pause the video. I'm pretty sure I'm filming this in quite good quality. You should be able to see very well what everything is saying. Um, I want more. Copy it another time. Once again, and change this to be four, not three. Um, let's go back and change these. So we got a kick drum, a snare drum, a hi hat. So I remember that's capitals. And let's check up there, and that's not capitals. So let's change it back to lowercase. Once again, lowercase, and uh, we want this to be our crash symbol, CR. Okay, last thing to do is I'll go back to my thing I prepared earlier, grab our last piece of code, and put it in here. Okay, now this is, so what we've done now is basically we have declared our variables, we have found where, so don't click on that, we have, <laughs> oh no, we need, we have, um, okay, so we found the location of it, we've created a URL to it, We've stored it in a variable, and now we're going to play it. So we've played, we're going to play our sample. Now, hopefully, if I run our program, this should now, you know, this should actually play. We should have, we should be able to play some samples. Let's play it and build it. Even let's make some music. Boom, boom. Tsh. Not like we're going to make much good music with our little sample yet. You know, it's a bit basic. Better than some of the rubbish we have to listen to. Start. As you can see, it is working, and hopefully you'll be able to hear the crazy and great samples I have loaded onto it. So let's quit it. Oh yeah, our quit function doesn't, doesn't work yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just have to stop it in here. Okay, so there you go. We have a very basic, very basic drum sampler. Now there's a few things we have left to add. Um, feel free to quit at this point if you don't want to add anything more cool to the drum sampler. You can fiddle around with it yourself, add more buttons, do whatever you want. So I'm going to now type, I'm going to basically change a few things, make the buttons a bit more snazzy. So let's go back to here. Make buttons look snazzy. Let's make the buttons look snazzy. What I'm going to do is add some basic styling to them in code. So let's target them. What we want to do is to put a dot, type layer, border. I need to get on what? Shouldn't we type that square bracket? Border color. Um, let's set this to be a UI color once again. Color, sorry, black. No, hang on. White. Is it white or black? I can't remember. White. Dot. C. G. Color. Okay, so we're, just, we're putting a layer on our button. Sorry, a border on our button with a color that is white. However, we also need to define how big our border is. So once again, type that. Type layer. Border. Width. Let's make it 4 pixels. Remember, that's a float, so put 0 0.0. You could put 4, but it doesn't make any difference, really. But I could make it 4.1. It would be really awkward. But I won't. Okay, so that one now put a border on our buttons. And let's not, we don't need to test that just yet. Let's uh, add a few more functions. Um, if you remember, we had in our in our header folder, we fault file, we had a string and a label. We did have yeah. Sorry, label and a string. Now you may be thinking, hmm, why haven't we used these yet? We're gonna use them now. So we've got a function called set label. So what we need to do is whatever it's called, what is it called again? It is called Sampler name, I think. Yeah, we go. Sampler name equals ns string string with sorry string with format at. Okay, this is now where we can type whatever we damn well please. So this is going to be called Sam's. No face. Snazzy sampler. Okay, that's what's going to appear in this field that says label will be set later, but we haven't. We need to set that label. So now what we do is we call our label, which is I think sampler lame label, equals our string. What you doing? Equals our sampler name. Um, what are you doing? Weird. This should. I'm missing something here. I'm not quite sure what. Um, sampler name equals. Um, and a string, what was I put that in there? Sample. Um, hang on, sampler. What are you doing? Sam string with format then. String. Oh, you're being annoying now. There we go. Happy with that. Okay, that was just me being a plank. I'm not, you know, <laughs> it's getting late now. I'm losing my mind. 
um, self again we want to now call this function when when it loads and we're going to put set label okay so that will now set that label however we need to also actually you know drag our buttons out so while we're here we're going to go into our you know our, this thing click on the end button and should be should have come up as which it hasn't done eh, that's interesting sampler name ah there we go sampler name label drag that to there and that will set it to be Sam's snazzy sampler when it comes up. Um, we also, I remember something as well, which I haven't done, is go back into your header file. Sorry, I'm being a bit of an idiot. Our quit function should be an IB action, not a void function. Being a plonker again. Okay, so it's a bit of correction. IB sender. Okay, so we also need to replace that in here because <laughs> it's wrong. Where is it? Okay. Let's just while we're here, we'll add our quit function as well. Exit, put in zero. And that will that will quit the app. So we also need to drag that to that button. Come here. Come here. Quit. Our app will now quit. Let's just test. Now we'll test what we've done so far, which is all our colourfulness. Testing, testing, testing. Building, building, building. It has built it. We hope it is running. Start. Label will be set later. That is interesting. I wonder why it hasn't said it. Let's find out. Um, sampler name label. Perhaps it's a talalai. Talalai. I know exactly why this hasn't worked. I'm being such a blonker. I need target, don't I? Set label. Ah! Uh, you're being a stupid longer. Do you know what? I honestly don't know why um, it doesn't work. I really can't remember. Oh, I haven't worked with labels in so long, I've literally forgotten how to do them. Ah oh, well. Let's try once more. Hang on a minute. Where's it gone? Right. Name label. Listen to it myself. Right. And a string, string with format at, let's type it in here instead. Sam's snazzy. Sam, get angry at it now. We should have fixed it. I'm not really, not really sure why, but you know, I'm being a complete plonker. Label will be set later. This is so confusing. Why am I being so thick? Yeah, sampler name label. It should be set. It should be setting it. I had this problem before, and I really don't remember what I did to fix it. I've been really sick, really stupid. Pfft. Who knows? Ah, ah. Something as simple as that. Dot text. Sorry, I've just wasted like a minute of your time. I excuse myself, or excuse me even. Okay, that will now set that. I've been really sick. No wonder it didn't work. And I can rechange this back to be my NS string rather than that rubbish. Sampler name. Okay. Let's um, do our last function. I remember at the start of my app, it played a certain boom, 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 boom as it started up. So we're now going to sort that out. So what we need to do is we need to use our timer function here, which was called, I think, sequence timer. Nope, it was called something timer. Start timer, that's one. Um, equals, it's an NS timer. Uh, scheduled timer with interval. We want the interval to be called, I don't know, every eight, uh, eight tenths of a second. Ah, oh, what have I done? Wrong one. Sorry, there's two functions that are exactly the same, pretty much. Um, it's the bottom one, as you can see it's bigger. Okay, 0 0.8, target on target itself, selector, at selector. And we want to call the function, I think, what's it called again? It's intro. Right, variables aren't great. User info, um, nil, not being sent anything. Repeat, yes. Okay. That will call this function um, all the time. It's meant for it like forever, indefinitely, every eight tenths of a second. Okay, so you might be thinking that's pointless. It is pointless. So that's where we're going to stop it now. So when this is called for a minute, left will just end it. So we want to call the timer, which is our start timer. Type invalidate. That'll invalidate it. That'll stop it running. Okay, that timer is now going to invalidate. Pipe in int. Um, so what is it called? Sequence timer. So like that's. Oh, I always forget what it's called. Sequence count, that's it. I've already declared it. What am I doing? Sequence count. So when this is called, it's going to increment that by one each time. 
Okay. Now, when it's when it's uh, called, we want to play the sample. So we want to play a sample. So play, sample. Sorry, self play sample. Self play sample. Um, we want to play the sample of sequence count plus plus. Sorry, plus one. We're adding one to it because if you remember, when this is initialized, it will be zero. We can't play sample zero, so we need to add one to it. Um, the thing can be called once because it's invalidating itself, so we need to put if sequence count equals four, which is the last possible. You know, it gets to get or get to it will get to it be three. Add one is four. Then it will increment this to four, which means that will be five, and that won't work. We can't have five, so we just we just stop the time running there and then. And that will now be cool when we start our level. So let's try it, and hopefully we don't have any faults, and, you know, I can leave you, or you can leave me, you probably already have left me, I'll probably talk to myself, <laughs> running, 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 start, there we go, and it says Sam's Snazzy Sampler, so yeah, sorry about all the inconveniences, and the stumbles, and the mutters, and the ums, 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 this is my first video, and I'm literally at half an hour now, so I'm pretty damn slow, but I'll be back with more videos, um, hopefully I'll be back with another video on this, and I'll go back and explain everything in full detail, because I was a bit hazy, you know, I was thinking, it's just little basic things I keep forgetting, I'm just a plonker, I'm really good with normalcy, objectives, yeah, I just lose my mind so lightly as I'm going through it, so, um, yep, subscribe if you like the videos, there'll be more to follow, comment, like, give me some hate mail, don't really care, I do care. I'll be offended and I'll start crying. <laughs> so yeah, um, enjoy. Right, time to quit. Goodbye.